What's going on YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming and we are here with some tier 3 Court of Oryx my friends I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do to beat this Court of Oryx Now don't do what I just did and I'll tell you why I had no idea that's the random the blueberry put a tier 3 I thought this was going to be a tier 1 or tier 2 which is a piece of cake So after I figured out that holy shit this is a tier 3 I go back and I tell my teammates what to do because I'm very familiar with this I beat it a few a handful of times actually and I'm going to show you guys exactly what you need to do So first off everyone in the Court of Oryx should be behind these two rocks all the guardians should be behind those two rocks. You should be kicking ass, pop shotting. Just make sure use the rocks as cover. Those beams, those ogre, ogre beams are insane. Just take a look at all the mayhem and chaos that's happening, guys. It's really not that bad. It's pretty simple when it comes down to it. If you go down, just like I did, make sure your teammates are there to pick you up. Revives are very key. Once you pop shot and kill those ogres, having night stalker uh, hunters that can tether is very important. Also, um, sniper rifle uh, critical shots are important. Um, but all in all, as long as you're putting damage in, that's a good thing. Uh, once the ogre goes down, there's a witch right next to the ogre. You want to make sure that you get up there and you kill that witch. The best way we do is we get three swords. Or you don't even need three. We did it with two, I believe. You get two swords and you go to town on that bit. I mean, witch. You know what I'm talking about. Go and destroy her because there's a time limit. If you don't kill her fast enough, another ogre spawns and it restarts the whole process. So as soon as that big ass ogre goes down, Go get that sword going, get up there and just kill that witch. You'll see exactly how we do it. And guys, the rewards are amazing. This wasn't even mine. Remember, if you're the one to actually put the rune in, you have a higher chance to get good rewards. However, my friend Candids, this is a later one, not in this video, but he put in the uh, the tier three rune, which is called the antiquated rune, I believe. I could have totally butchered that. And he got like seven, eight legendary rewards. It was insane. Uh, it's just absolutely nuts, man. And um, I haven't had a chance to actually put one in because I haven't gotten it. But the way to do it is uh, you put T ones. This is the whole process, right? You put tier one runes in, which is the the uh reciprocal runes yes you go and you put those in then you'll get a random stolen rune which is the tier two you have to charge that up by doing three tier one runes once you do the three tier one runes to charge the stolen rune you do the stolen rune and you get lucky and you get an antiquated rune which you need three tier two runes to actually charge up guys pretty simple just go and do it guys court of oryx is very addicting come tune into the live stream come tune into my other videos that i'm doing on ttk and we're going to be raced to be the best raiders tomorrow at 10 a.m so please tune in for that hit that subscribe button and a thumbs up would really help out i'll see you in the next one peace